Today, we are going to be talking about this, the DJI Action 2, and I'm going to be showing you a little bit of a hack. Now, hack is a bit of an extreme word to use for this, and I have done a bit of a clickbaity thumbnail on purpose. It's actually a bit of a workaround based on a feature that DJI have just added in the new firmware, and I'll talk you through that in a few minutes. Now, the Action 2 has been a very Marmite product. When I bought it, I was extremely critical of it for a number of reasons. The overheating being the biggest, because in the UK and Europe, you don't have access to the high temp mode, which restricted the amount of recording you'd get before the device would overheat. Now, that would manifest itself in various situations, mostly being indoor style situations. And whilst this is an action camera that is designed to be used outdoors, for me, I buy these for multiple use cases, and it was quite disappointing that it would get to the stage where you had drastically reduced recording time as a result of the design of the product being somewhat compromised. Now, there was a lot of other things we complained about when it released, but to be fair to DJI, they've actually released a number of big firmware updates for this camera that has added new features and resolved many of the issues. The camera today is very, very different to the camera that launched, and if you were someone that looked at it on day one, I would suggest going back and looking at it again. This week, though, DJI have released another little firmware update that adds a new feature for a magnetic case that they're going to be including with the camera moving forward. That case is going to allow users in the UK and Europe to also have longer recording times because it protects the external area of the camera from high temperatures. However, because DJI have explained how that case works, I'm going to show you a little bit of a workaround that you use a magnet for to enable the mode that that case will enable and actually get the longer recording times or at least some of the longer recording times without actually having the case in hand. What we'll do first before I show you this though is hop over to the DJI website and just explain what they are talking about with regard to this case in this new firmware. So DJI have announced on their forum that they're going to be including what they call the Action 2 Magnetic Protective Case as standard with the Action 2 moving forward. When you buy the camera, you'll actually get this case included with it as well. For existing users, they are going to make a voucher available that allows you to claim your free case directly from DJI, and you should be receiving that in your inbox in the next couple of weeks. The post itself goes on to explain what the situation is, and if I take a look, you can see that there's this new case that goes around the outside of the Action 2. The idea of it is to help reduce surface touch temperatures, so your hands are not going to feel the device as hot, and they say that the special polymer that the case is made from helps actually dissipate the heat from the camera as well. As a result of this, it allows them to actually run the camera longer and hotter than they would be able to do without it. There is a sensor built into the camera that detects when the case is attached, and it will then automatically put the camera into a higher temp mode, allowing you to be able to record for longer. When you scroll down, they actually put a chart up explaining how much longer you're going to be able to record with. For instance, these tests, they say, are done in high temp mode, so UK users are not going to be able to get these numbers or may not be able to get these numbers. We don't know what the effect specifically is in UK versus US. However, I have been doing some of my own tests and I'll explain the results of them in a minute. But as you can see, what they're saying is it's allowed it to greatly extend the record times that you had available. Now, what's interesting is when they go down, they actually explain how the detect point works. You can see the case itself says it picks up the detection point there and it just shows you various things around how to mount the case and stuff like that. Now, I was looking quite closely at this image and thought, well, how does this camera pick up the case detect point? Because there's nothing here other really than the metal outside case. And my only conclusion was that it must be magnetic. So what I decided to do was do a few tests and I found a way to trigger this mode without actually having the case on the camera. 
So to show you this kicking in, what you're going to need is a small magnet. I've got a small neodymium one here, and we're just going to use this to trigger this new case mode. If I press and hold the power button to turn the camera on, we'll let it kick in and we'll let it get onto its usual modes. There we go. You can see it's kicked in, and if I tilt it up, it's absolutely fine. Now, the area you need to place the magnet is in this top area here. This is where, on the DJI website, they show the sensor is. So what I'm going to simply do is put the camera face down. It's not the easiest way to do it on this, but I'm then going to place the magnet on the front here, and you can then see a message has come up to say magnetic protective case installed. If I take it away, it'll basically go back to the other mode, and then if I do it again, in a second, it should come up. There you go, magnetic protective case installed. So you can trigger this new mode simply by placing a magnet on the top. There's no reason you can't make yourself a case, 3D print yourself a case, or do something like that to be able to trigger it. There are many different options you can do, but the reality is you don't need that special case from DJI to trigger it. You can simply take your magnet, place it on the top here, and then when it's in the right place, it will say magnetic case detected. Let me just make sure I got it the right way around. You've got to make sure that you do have the magnet the right way. There we go. And you can see that it then kicks in. I've been doing a few tests with this on the bench just to try and understand the difference it makes. And here in the UK, it's given about an extra minute of recording time. So I was getting, for instance, in 4K 120, about four minutes 50 to five minutes 20. Whereas with this magnet in place, I got six minutes 20 onwards in my tests. Now, in the UK, it doesn't give you that option for selecting high power mode. It doesn't add that under the menu system, but it does show when you put the magnet on top that it has entered that mode for the case and it should then give you additional recording time. Also note that the times that you're going to get with just the magnet compared to the times with the case may vary because DJI do say that that case helps actually reduce the heat on the device in the sense of helps actually radiate that heat away. So that case in itself may be adding to the recording time and the magnet then is triggering that special mode that takes it further. As I said at the start, this is a hack. Well, it, it really isn't a hack. It's just a workaround. But I did think it was interesting, so I thought I would share it with you guys. If you are a UK user, hopefully this may allow you to get a bit more from the Action 2. If you haven't updated yours since getting it, I strongly advise doing so. There has been a lot of changes in firmware for this camera, and it really is beginning to become a very good option. From an FPV point of view, it's actually very very, very good. And whilst the battery life does remain a bit of a pig, the benefits to the weight saving on this are massive, especially compared to a GoPro if you're not going to do one naked. And I can see a lot more people using this as time goes on, especially now we know the pinouts on the bottom and adding external cases as well. It's not going to be difficult to actually make a case with a little pouch for a magnet in, and you just need to make sure that you get it in the right place, and I'm sure we'll see third-party ones become available with this too. If you have bought one of these, DJI say they are going to give you one of these cases for free, so do keep an eye on the website. I'll put a link to that post that they've put in the description of this video as well, so please do check that one out, and hopefully you'll be able to get your one. But I'm really interested in knowing what your thoughts are on this little worker around and seeing what effects you find from it as well. If you found this video interesting, please do consider hitting the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the little bell next to it as well. If you'd like to support us to keep buying products like this and be able to talk about them, there is a link to my Patreon as well as buy me a coffee. I want to say a massive thank you to every one of my Patreons and everyone who has donated via buy me a coffee because I would not be able to keep making content like this without your support. Anyway, look after yourself, stay safe, and I will speak to you again soon.